Well, this is a wonderful holiday concert. It's a tradition with the Lima Symphony Orchestra and Chorus, Bells, Brass, and Bows. It's coming up on Saturday, and the executive director of the symphony, Elizabeth Brown Ellison, to tell us more about it. And this is just a fun concert for you guys to have, isn't it? It is. It's always so much fun. You know, we just fill the stage, first of all, with it, musicians, with singers, and orchestra players. And so there's so much to see in part of the, you know, as part of the concert, mm -hmm. but then to see all the people in the concert hall who come, and they come year after year, they bring their children, they bring their grandchildren, and it's just such a tradition for them, mm -hmm. and I love that because, you know, you can just see the families continuing, and that's really great for us. Right, and it, it, it is for the families. Like you said, it's it's songs that they'll know, you'll see the chorus singing, so this really is a good one for the whole family to come to. It absolutely is, yes. Um, we start with music that everyone's going to know. We're actually doing a sing-along as one of our very first pieces, and people love that because they like to be able to to participate and to sing and to really you know to hear yourself just singing with an orchestra who gets to do that normally right, exactly. so that's pretty fun yeah um, and then we're doing the carol of the bells we're doing some selections from handel's messiah but we're also doing things that the kids will love you know sleigh ride i mean anyone you hear that trumpet do the horse whinny right, and you and gotta you watch just... the percussion because exactly. they do the fun stuff yes, exactly. so that's a good one. yes they get all the fun and so you know there are a lot of things that people know actually this year we have a young artist competition winner who's joining us a piano player and she is doing Doing some of the Peanuts music and so you know super recognizable super fun everybody loves that it's my ringtone for heaven's <laughs> sake so <laughs> <laughs> so there really is it's just gonna be an awesome evening and speaking of awesome I mean we love Andrew but he's not gonna be here for this concert so tell us about right. who's gonna be conducting well you know Andrew unfortunately is busy he's conducting another orchestra this weekend and so he called me and said you know I had this great friend Michael Repper and I think he would be perfect for us and I'm like okay you know, I'm googling Michael Repper and since that time he actually became the first conductor the youngest conductor to win a Grammy Award for an orchestra performance so he's pretty fantastic himself um, and we're very excited to welcome him to Lima mm -hmm. I think it'll be I think he will do great things with the orchestra and the chorus it's always nice to have somebody else in even though we love Andrew we love Crafton we love you know our own but somebody else brings something else out of the musicians too and that's mm -hmm. kind of great to see them benefit like that right yeah what a great thing and mm -hmm. of course you know with the chorus and, and you know we get that extra special music the great voices that go yeah. with it so it, it is a really nice combination for this concert it is the sound is very powerful it's very rich and full and it's really the way you want to hear this music you know not on some kind of elevator midi t soundtrack or something that is exactly. actually you know with the richness and the fullness I think you really get to in, kind of immerse yourself into it Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you mentioned how that you know there's, you know, that special piano player is going to be there. I mean, that goes to show that you know you do bring all ages in too. The the yeah. young artist you won, or he, she, 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 okay, yeah, she, me, she. No, she yes. So I mean, it's really neat to be able to see that on stage too, right? It is, and actually we're taking her to the schools in the morning, and so she'll be able to you know work with some students who are really just a few years younger than she is, and you know I think. Kids sometimes don't know what options are out there in music, and you know, they have music teachers. They think, okay, I could, I could be an educator, but what else could I do? And then you see someone who's actually making their living, and you know, with music, and it's it's very exciting. And so I'm thrilled to have her back. And we always try to give people this launching point in their career. That's part of the competition prize. If you win, is the consideration of performing with the orchestra, because for many of them, it's their very first time with a full orchestra, and it's a great experience. Right. Well, I think it's neat that you you bring the artist into the classroom. When whenever possible you have those youth concerts so yeah. I mean you really do start young and then yeah. they're gonna come when they're old too. That's right exactly education is a huge part of our mission and it's something we're really committed to. All right so the concert is this Saturday so yes. get your tickets now right? That's right get your tickets now there are tickets still available there will probably be the tickets available at the door but we do recommend you get the tickets now because we are selling quickly. Yeah I can't guarantee it with this kind of concert. Exactly. So everybody's gonna have some holiday fun. It's at the Civic Center as usual. Yes, 7 30 is the start time. Mm -hmm. All right, That's right. Very good. All right and then of course you guys we'll talk about this later but you've got New Year's Eve coming uh, to the special Frank concert. Frank Sinatra it is gonna be killer. Oh my gosh yes <laughs> Frank. Frank on New Year's Eve. What more do you want? Exactly. So yes. first we want though Bells, Brass and Bows this Saturday. Elizabeth thanks for coming today. Thank you. All right don't go away. Connor's in next with the weather forecast.